the last video we had seen that there are certain equations of this form m dx plus n dy equal to zero where del m by del y is not equal to del n by del x but certain equations can be converted to exact form by multiplying it with a suitable integrating factor we had seen one such integrating factor in the last video so if you haven't gone through the first video i would advise you to first of all go to that video the part 1 video <coughs> so that you understand this topic now <coughs> today's topic is the second part we will today discuss equations of this form let there be a function of xy into y dx plus another function of xy into x dy equal to 0 so if any equation be in this form we can transform it transform it <coughs> into exact differential equation how we'll use an integrating factor which is equal to 1 by m into x minus n into y this is our m and this is our n so mx minus ny <coughs> this will be our integrating factor we'll multiply the equation with, with this and then we'll see that the equation becomes exact differential equation so we'll take one example to understand it <coughs> so our example is this 1 plus xy into y dx in plus 1 minus xy into x dy the best way to understand this is though you won't be requiring it when you are doing giving your exam but the best way to understand is that first of all we will take del m by del y and del n by del x of this equation and see whether this is exact equation or not this is m and this is n so del m by del y this is equal to y1 plus 2xy this will be xy square so 2xy del n by del x this is x minus x square y so x will be 1 and this is 2xy so we see that this is not equal to this this is not in the exact form this equation is not exact differential equation so what we'll do we'll find out an integrating factor which is 1 by mx minus ny so let's see this is m so this will be xy m into x so xy 1 plus xy minus this is ny so xy again xy comes out 1 minus xy so we take xy common xy 1 plus xy minus 1 plus xy 1 plus xy minus 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 plus this is plus xy so we'll have 1 by 2 x square y square <coughs> so our integrating factor is 1 by 2 x square y square or since we have to multiply it multiply the whole equation so 2 won't be so much significant so what we'll do we'll multiply it with 1 by x square y square that will be our integrating factor so let's do it multiply this by 1 by x square y square and this also by 1 by x square y square here y y cancel then this will be 1 by x square y plus y y cancel 1 by x dx plus here we have x y square so this will be x y square minus x x cancel this will be 1 by y dy equal to 0 
So first of all, we will check whether this is in the exact form or not. This is now the new M. Let be M1 and this is the new N. Let this be N1. So del M1 by del Y. This term will be 0 because it is 1 by X. This term will be Y minus 1. So this will be minus 1 by X square Y square. Here del N1 by del X. This term will be 0. This is X to the power minus 1. So this will be minus 1 by X square Y square. So we see this is equal now. So this is in the exact differential equation form. How, will, how we will calculate or evaluate? Very simple. This is the equation. I am writing it here. So that it is easily visible to you. First term. Taking Y constant. We will integrate 1 by X square Y plus 1 by X DX. And the second term. All of all the terms which does not contains x. So this will be minus 1 by y dy equal to sorry equal to c a constant. So let's evaluate it out. x to the power minus 2. So integrating it will be minus 2 plus 1 that is minus 1. This will be minus 1 by xy plus this is log of x minus log of y equal to constant so you can do one thing log x by y x by y minus 1 by x y is equal to constant so this is our answer so so our second example is x square y square plus x y plus 1 y dx plus x square y square minus x y plus 1 x dy. Whether it is an exact form or not, you must check it when you are doing this at home. So this I leave to the students to do them do this by themselves. Let's start with the integrating factor part. But before going forward, I would request you to kindly subscribe this channel so I, so that I'll be able to bring you these videos so let's start the integrating factor this is 1 by mx this into x that is x cube y square plus x square y plus x minus this into sorry sorry so let's find the integrating factor this is mx x into y so we'll be having xy out of this and there also x into y so xy i'm taking out this is this minus n this is x square y square plus xy minus one one by this thing these two cancel each other, these two cancel each other. So this is xy, xy. So again, the integrating factor is, we can take integrating factor as 1 by x square y square. I am leaving this 2 xy plus xy, 2 xy, y. I just uh, explained to you. Sorry, this is the equation. So now, let's multiply the equation with this. 1 by x square y square what we will get by x square y square by x square y square so here we have x y square here we have x square y so x square y square by x square y this will simply be y plus x y x y this will be 1 by x and this will be 1 by x square y dx plus this is 1x so x plus sorry this is minus xy xy this is 1 by y and this is 1 by xy square dy equal to 0 now you should check whether this is in exact form or 
नॉट सो दिस बाय वाई डेल एम बाय डेल वाई दिस इज वन दिस इज जीरो दिस इज माइनस वन सो विल हैव माइनस वन बाय एक्स स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर दिस थिंग डेल एन बाय डेल एक्स दिस इज वन दिस इज जीरो दिस इज वन बाय एक्स स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर सो डेल एम बाय डेल वाई इज इक्वल टू डेल एन बाय डेल एक्स दिस इज इन द एग्जैक्ट डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन फॉर्म एंड सो द सोल्यूशन विल बी आई एम राइटिंग एट हियर एंड द सोल्यूशन इज वाई इज कॉन्स्टेंट वन बाय एक्स दिस इज एक्स माइनस टू बाय वाई डी एक्स प्लस टर्म्स ऑफ एन दैट डो नॉट कंटेन एक्स सो दिस इज द ओनली टर्म दिस इज माइनस वन बाय वाई डी वाई इंटीग्रल इज इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट हाउ डू यू फाइंड द रिजल्ट दिस वाई इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो दिस इज एक्स वाई दिस इज लॉग एक्स दिस इज माइनस टू प्लस वन सो दिस इज वन बाय एक्स वाई प्लस sorry minus this is log of y equal to constant so we have xy minus 1 by xy plus log x by y equal to an arbitrary constant so this is the solution so this is so this is very easy you just saw how easily we are able to transform this equation into an exact differential equation and then we know how to find the solution of an exact differential equation again a recap the equation was was like this fxy into y dx plus another equation of xy x dy equal to 0 so if we have any equation of this form And del m by del y is not equal to del n by del x. Then what we can do? We can find an integrating factor which is equal to one by m x minus n y. We'll multiply the equation with the integrating factor, and then the equation that we will get will be in exact form. And then we know how to solve an exact differential equation. So we have seen one more type. I request you to subscribe this channel. like this video and share this video in your college groups in your student group so that the channel becomes popular and many of you subscribe it and i'll be i'd be able to put more videos for your learning thank you